Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. It is actually a glorious Sunday. It's 71 degrees and sunny. Very nice day out. I think we're starting to calm down a little bit and maybe, hopefully, not getting any more of those like awful schwitzy 100 degree sweltering humidity kind of days. Every night it seems to cool down a bit too, so it's going into the 60s at night, which certainly helps. And I'm all for it. I'm kind of looking forward to this fall. Let's go get some bagels and eat because I'm freaking hungry. As like I seem to always be. Bagels gotten. Let's go eat. All right, I just wanted to show you this setup here. Basically, here is the Ulanzi inverted ball head. And then right there is the quick release mechanism. And I have a quick release plate on there. And I've now replaced that on like every one of my camera devices that I'm gonna use. And now basically you just push this button right there and the whole thing comes right off. And then all you gotta do is boom. Now it's back on. Change of plans, kids. I have now put the ASPC APSC, Jesus, why can't I ever remember that? The APSC 10 to 20 G lens on my A7 IV just because it's lighter. And now from here, I can see the screen and, you know, without as much difficulty. And I mean, it looks like it's going to do a pretty good job, but we're going to find out. So let's hit the road. All right, kids, here you can see it now. This is the A7 IV. I have it in 4K. 24 frames a second, but I have it at 422 10-bit, 100 megabits. So full 10-bit, but I've got the 10 to 20 G, not G Master, eh, 10 to 20 G lens on here. So this is what it, it's going to look like in this setup. And I kind of dig it for vlogging. So who knows? I might end up just keeping the ZVE-10 for in studio at that at that different angle because you know i mean it looks pretty decent but for right now enough of that we're heading to home depot i need to get filters i thought i had enough filters for my hvac system and i didn't so i'm gonna buy filters i'm gonna pick up my chandelier then i'm gonna go get bean and then i'm gonna go home and just chill let's go get some filters man bean has been gotten camera has been sitting in direct sunlight and is very hot surprised it even turned on so let's jack up the ac and go home and do sunday shit okay kids i had a lot of stuff going on today and as you can see i decorated for halloween didn't get quite as crazy as i did last year with all the you know skeletons and the you know the fabric and all that shit because it's a pain in the ass i simply got some ghosts to hang out with Doink, and I got a new little, I don't even know what that's called. It's just a big hunk of metal with the with the skull and the roses on it and everything. And then obviously uh, some lights that I wrapped around there. So that's, that's what I got at Michael's yesterday when I went in and bought shit and she didn't. So there you go. Happy Halloween. I'm all about Halloween. All right, what else did I do today? I have gone back and forth with all of these different setups. And as you can see, uh, you know, I did stuff in the Forerunner to accommodate the a7 IV. Didn't have to switch as much as I thought I was going to. I did have to take off the um, the grip. The, using the grip, is it's there's just no way that I can use it. But that's okay because I, basically I can have power when I'm in here and I have power when I'm in the Forerunner, which are the two places that I use it the most. Everything I do in between, I can always plug it in afterwards or I can just carry another battery with me. That's not that big of a deal. Carrying one little battery is not that big of a deal. Now, what I've done in here is I have, what I'm kind of playing around with is, is switching lenses and everything. You saw the footage that was on the a7 IV. That was with this 10 to 50 lens on it. But what I have decided that would be better is if I have the 11 millimeter f1.8 on the a7 IV. That way I'm covered for more low light stuff, since that goes down to 1.8, and this only goes down to f4. f4, not a problem if it's in studio. Also, I think that I'm going to keep the ZV-E10 on this mount with the 10 to 20 in studio. 
because I think it works better that way. I'm not thrilled with all that rolling shutter and when, the, you know, the this absolute horrifying footage from that 30 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 1.8, that was just horrifying. Now, granted, I got that 35 millimeter really for stills, so I can still use that on this if I feel like it. But for now, I'm gonna keep the ZV E10 here in studio because I think this looks great. And I'm going to go back to using my A7 IV. Just love that 10 bit, man, um, out and about. And I'm gonna use the 11 millimeter because the lens is so small and so light. And I think the footage looks good, even though it's an, an APS-C lens. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I've gone into my normal Sunday here. I got the laundry going. Uh, I am hungry though. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I'm gonna go get something to eat and finish this video up. But I, I had a lot to show you. Let me know what you think of it all, even though it's changed a little bit. So what do you think of the A7 IV footage? I went back again to 422 10-bit at the highest uh, not megapixel, but megabits that I could use on that. And then I have this, well, I mean, it's 8-bit, but 8-bit in studio. And again, I'm looking at it and th the screen, it's, it's almost like going into one of those fun houses where you look at it and it doesn't quite show you what's real. But I think that this looks really good for what I'm seeing on screen. And I think that this is a great camera and a great lens. And I think it's perfect for in studio. That's it, that's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, or if you want to let me know what you think, put it down in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.